Hey everyone, welcome back. Today we are going to solve problem number 744, find smallest letter greater than target. First we will see the explanation of the problem statement, then the logic and the code. Now let's dive into the solution. So in this problem we are given two inputs, that is letters and target, where letter contains the characters and target contains the target character. So we need to find all the characters that is greater than target and we need to find only the first character that is greater than target. So generally, what is greater than C? It starts from D, E and so on till Z, right? But what is the first character that is greater than C? D, right? So we need to return D. So we need to apply the same concept to find the greatest character of target in the input array. So now we will see how we are going to do this. So since we know the input already is sorted, we can use binary search, right? So now I will be having a left and right pointers. So the left pointer will point to the zeroth index and R pointer will point to the last index. So now we need to find the middle element by adding the left and right pointers and then we need to divide by two. So 0 plus 2 and divide by 2 is going to be 1. So here we are using the floor operator. So we will be getting an integer value. So 1. So middle pointer will point to the first index. Now I need to check whether middle element, that is the middle character, is greater than C or not. So in this case, we need to check whether F is greater than C or not. The middle character is f right so we need to check f is greater than c or not yes f is greater than c right f comes after c so now we will move our right pointer by subtracting one with the middle element so our pointer will point to the zeroth index so here middle is one and one minus one is zero so r will point to the zeroth index so i will run the loop until my left pointer is less than or equal to right pointer. So here left and right pointer are equal. So we will run the loop. So again we need to calculate the middle element. So we are going to get 0 plus 0 divided by 2. We are going to get 0. So middle pointer will also point to the 0th index. So here the middle pointer is pointing to C and the target is C as well. So when the middle character that is less than or equal to the target character, we will move our left pointer by adding middle plus 1. So middle is 0 and plus 1 we are going to get 1. So we will move our left pointer. So a left pointer is pointing to character F. So now this condition fails, right? So we are going to stop our loop. Then finally, if we found the character, we will just return the left pointer character, which will be the lowest character that is greater than the target, that is F in this case. So we will be returning F as my answer. So if the character is not available, for example, assume if the target is Z, so there is no character that is greater than Z, right? So in this case, we will be returning the first character in the letter's input, that is C, right? That's how the logic is. Now we will see the code. So before we code, if you guys haven't subscribed to my channel, please like and subscribe. This will motivate me to upload more videos in future and also check out my previous videos and keep supporting guys. So initially we are initializing the left and right pointers. The left will be pointing to the zeroth index and right will be pointing to the last index, right? Then we will be running the loop until the left pointer is less than or equal to the right pointer. Then we need to find the middle index value. Then after finding the middle index value, we need to check whether the middle character is less than or equal to the target. If that condition is valid, we need to move our left pointer by adding one to the middle index. Else we will move our right pointer by subtracting one in my middle index value right then if we found the character we will just return the character that left pointer is pointing 
else we didn't find the character we will just return the first character in the input array right that's all the code is now we will run the code so the time complexity will be log n and space will be constant space right thank you guys for watching this video please like share and subscribe this will motivate me to upload more videos in future and also check out my previous videos keep supporting happy learning cheers guys